It's that time of the year to bundle up and enjoy a classic Christmas movie. Man, all the choices. When I was a kid, I had this VHS box set that had all the good ones, like Frosty, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Rudolph, and even The Little Drummer Boy. One that seems to be overlooked in the newer box sets. Maybe it's too religious. Even though it is Christmas. Ah, never mind. This box set had yet another overlooked movie called A Very Merry Cricket, a Chuck Jones cartoon about a cat and a mouse who live in New York getting a musically talented cricket to play to the New Yorkers to get them to shut the hell up and appreciate life for once. This is not the movie I'm reviewing today. In fact, I would recommend this movie to anybody watching this video right now. Seriously, it's like 25 minutes of your life. Go, go watch it. Now, like I said, I had this movie on VHS when I was a kid. What I didn't realize at the time, however, was this VHS was actually a double feature. So I was just dicking around one day while Very Merry Cricket was playing and noticed something really weird happened after the end credits. Have you ever heard of... Blue Toes the Christmas Elf. I, I don't even know where the fuck this came from. It was made by Lacewood Productions, who also made, uh, well, they made this. Okay, wait. Looking at their Wikipedia page, they also did animation services on the first season of The Ren and Stimpy Show. Well, that's just great. I get to watch a Christmas special starring Powdered Toast Man. Which actually sounds pretty awesome. Well, looking at this piece of shit, I can already tell it's no Chuck Jones cartoon. I mean, look at the Very Merry Cricket. Now look at this shit. Do we just go forward in time or backwards? And how come this movie has a 10 second promo before the actual cartoon begins? At first I thought I'd just watch the whole damn thing. Nothing ever works out. The end. So the cartoon begins with the elves doing their pre-Christmas duties of picking toys off trees. Which is pretty fucking weird. Already the realism of this fictional world just fell apart. I mean, if you can grow toys from trees, then why the fuck would you need Santa? Anyway, we meet Blue Toes. Well, his name is actually Small One because Santa hasn't given him a name yet. But I mean, how stupid is that for a name? He's an elf. Why specify that he's small? It'd be like Beardy the Dwarf or Slutty the Hooker. Blue Toes always seems to fuck things up and the other elves don't like having him around. So they just give him stupid jobs like building a snowman and polishing Santa's jingle bells. <laughs> Look at that! Two heads! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> and oh my god, is he annoying! <laughs> and. Is it bad that I'm rooting for the polar bear? So Blue Toes, after running for his life, breaks the chute that's used to transport the presents. The elves make Blue Toes tell Santa that it was him that broke the chute, obviously so he can get punished, but no, Santa just has all the other elves fix the chute while Blue Toes gets to dick around some more. Moral of the story? <laughs> Never be good at anything. That way you can just play all day while everyone else fixes your mess. Wasn't that George Bush's election speech? Blue Toes is given the task to polish the sleigh when the polar bear arrives again, this time chasing the penguin from Wallace and Gromit? Nah, it looks nothing like him, but did you know that his actual name is Feathers McGraw? And there's a little Wallace and Gromit trivia for you. <laughs> oh man, I'm bored with this movie. <laughs> Polar Bear fucks things up, yet again, and they all blame Blue Toes for it, yet again, even though this time Opus is there to back him up. Just as I thought, Poppycock! Whoa, whoa, you watch your language there, old man. God, it's a fucking kids movie. Shit. So all the elves decide to punish Blue Toes by making him do the worst job ever, patching up stockings. Really? And he's bummed about this? I mean, only moments ago he was polishing a sleigh and this is punishment to him? 
Hell, the whole movie up to this point, it's just him trying to find ways to help the other elves. Why does he hate to do work all of a sudden? Say, that's what I'll call ya, Lonesome. Chopper is called Chopper because he chops the wood, and Ribbon is the fastest present wrapper. Yeah, we aren't very creative here at the North Pole. So yeah, the naming system at Santa's workshop apparently works the same way as the dwarves in Snow White, where their names indicate their jobs and personality, like alcohol abuse the elf, and child molester the elf. I'm small one. Because I have a small one. What are you doing? <laughs> it's Whitey. <laughs> yes. How could I forget Whitey the elf? Named so for his love of wearing white robes and holding clan meetings every Sunday. <laughs> hey, that gives me an idea. <laughs> what idea? To use glue to patch every stocking? I don't think that's how glue and fabric work. And how is there the exact same hole in each stocking? And you're probably saying to yourself, dude, it's just a cartoon. It's not going to be realistic. <sighs> yeah, well, my argument to that is go fuck yourself. <laughs> Would someone give that damn polar bear a Coke already? <laughs> Woody! Yep, Woody the elf. Don't think I need to explain that one. And check out Legs the Elf over there. I take it those were our stockings? Um, uh, if you paid a little more attention to your work, you just might get somewhere, but... Dude, guys, fucking polar bear. You saw it ruin your stockings and then stomp off, and yet you're still gonna blame Blue Toes? Man, these elves are being bigger dicks than asshole the elf. So Blue Toes decides to explain what happened to Santa, who isn't home for some reason, Probably off doing better movies. The South Pole? Is that where you live? Uh -huh. Then how the fuck did it get all the way to the North Pole? Fuck this Blue Toes bullshit. I want to know the penguin story now. Though something tells me it probably went something like this. Sorry, sorry. That's another review for, for another day. Small one! Do you know anything about this? Oh yeah, I was wondering about the pants Blue Toes cut up for no reason. I'm sorry, small one. But, but... It's Christmas Eve. I don't have time to see you until Christmas is over. Well, glad the whole cut pants story arc was cleared up. What was the point of those couple lines? Was it supposed to be funny? Did they just run out of ways for Blue Toes to fuck up? Santa doesn't even seem mad about it. Whose fucking pants are those anyway? Nobody told me this movie was gonna be a mystery thriller. I can't handle the stress. All of a sudden, it becomes Blue Toes' mission to get Opus back to the South Pole. But Santa is too busy being Santa, so it's up to Blue Toes to get him home all by himself. Remember to stay still, and they'll figure you're somebody's Christmas present. So you're telling me that instead of sending the penguin to the South Pole in Santa's sleigh, you're going to smuggle him in with the toys in the hopes that Santa drops him off... Where? Where would Santa send a penguin toy? Cause it sure as hell wouldn't be the South Pole. Who lives in the South Pole that Santa could send a toy to? Ho ho ho! Holy shit! It's Santa! In space! This movie just got awesome. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, the movie still sucks. So during the clusterfuck that got Blue Toes and Opus on the sleigh, two toys were left behind, meaning Santa has to go get his ass back to the North Pole to get them, leaving Blue Toes and Opus there all alone. Oh, gee, oh, oh god, no. For fuck's sakes, Blue Toes, put some goddamn pants on. Blue Toes gets the idea to use two of the toys he was picking earlier as the presents. And what kind of house has a fireplace in the kid's bedroom? Wait a minute! Look great! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. I love cartoons where you could pinpoint the exact spot where the animators just said, fuck it. Santa comes back to find the children already playing with presents and Blue Toes dying of hypothermia on the roof. From this day forward, all the boys and girls will wake up on Christmas morning to find a stocking filled with small and wondrous things picked and packed and hung with care by Blue Toes! Oh boy! This is 
isn't the time to celebrate, people! The fucker has frostbite! So that's the story of how stockings were invented. I think. But I think we're overlooking the most important message of this story. What the hell is with those pants with the hole in them? So that's Blue Toes. Is it good or is it shit? Shit, 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 shit. I've never been so insulted by such a piece of poorly animated, poorly written, and poorly paced schlock in all my life. We are so lucky this movie is difficult to find, because just imagine how many children's Christmases would have been ruined had they seen this. I mean, Christ. Talk about insulting a child's intelligence. Just because it's for kids doesn't mean you can't put at least a little bit of effort into it. 30 minutes! That's how long this cartoon is. 30 fucking minutes, and it's pissed me off this much. With all the great Christmas cartoons out there for kids, why'd they think this one needed to exist? <laughs> Look at that! Two heads! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. <sighs> if any of you thinking of getting me any early Christmas presents this year, I have a suggestion. I want the creator of this cartoon. I want him right here. The big ribbon on his head. And I want to look him straight in the eye. And I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spotty lipped, worm headed piece of monkey shit he is. Hallelujah! The holy shit! Where's the Tylenol?